tables can get tricky. The reason tables can get tricky is the numbers are not always super, super simple. Like for example, you can see these numbers are kind of big, right? Um, sometimes numbers are negative. These all happen. But here's the deal. The, the patterns stay the same. So we can use a calculator when we need to, and we can still um, notice the patterns. So the pattern in a table of a linear function always has the same difference from row to row. Here's what that means. Look, I'm going to do, look, I want to know what's the difference from 32 to 26. What's the difference? Difference means subtract. So what I do is I take the second number and subtract the first number. So this was, the difference is negative 6, right? The difference between this number and this number is that I've subtracted 6. Now look, if I do 20 minus 26, look, I'm doing bottom minus top. Okay, look, I get negative 6 again. If I do, right now, you could maybe do this in your head, but you don't need to. You can use the calculator as a tool, right? This is negative 6. 8 divided by neg, uh, it's not divided by, you're not doing divided. 8 minus 14 is also negative 6. Okay, now look, we can do this in our head. We can see, oh, 32 minus 6, this is minus 6, minus 6, minus 6. So that's the same difference from row to row. Now, in this case, the numbers are going down, so it's negative. Sometimes the numbers are going up, like, for example, this would be a linear function. Let's say I had 2, 5, 8, 11. Look, that would be plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. That would be another example of a linear function. Okay? The same difference from row to row. Okay? Now, difference generally means subtract. Okay? And you can see, like, because the way I figure out how much it is from row to row is I subtract. I did this row minus this row. Look, this row minus this row, that would be plus 3. This would be plus 3. It's 11 minus 8, that would be plus 3. Okay? Now, let's say I look at this table and I think, oh, is this, is this linear? Let's see. 4 minus 2, oh, that's plus 2. 8 minus 4, oh, wait, that's plus 4. It's not linear if it's going to be plus 2, plus 4, right? If it's linear, it's the same each row. So what I need to observe here, look, I could start with this. Okay, look, don't write this. I'm just going to write it so you can see it. This could be plus 4. This could be plus 8. This is plus 16. Okay, you can see mm, we're not adding the same thing from row to row. Okay, now you're going to see on quadratic, I'm going to check the second difference. Okay, so like for example here, look, this is plus 2. Oh, this is plus 4. Oh, this is plus 8. Okay, that's called the second difference. That also doesn't work here. So this one must be exponential. Let's check. In an exponential function, we're multiplying from row to row. Look, 2 times what is 4? Look, 4 divided by 2. Okay, now you probably know that, right? But I want to just model for you that you can use the calculator even when the numbers get crazy. Okay, let's see. Now look, this was times 2. Is this times 2? Four. Oh, is 4 times 2 8? Yes, it is. Is 8 times 2 16? Sure is. Is 16 times 2 32? Yep. Okay, now if I was like, wait, what's the pattern? I could do 32 divided by 16. Let's see. Oh, it's 2. Yeah, okay, this is multiplying by 2. So in exponential, we're multiplying from row to row. This is times 2, times 2, times 2. Okay? Now, Quadratics are a little bit trickier to recognize. And notice I have big numbers here. Oh, super annoying, right? That's okay. Look, I'm going to find out what the difference is from this row to this row. So 288 minus 392. Sorry, there's a glare on this. That's minus 104. Ugh. Right? We're going to use a calculator for this. This is super annoying. Okay, from 288 to 200. This one I can do, right? Because this is a 200. This is minus 88. From 200 to 128. Let's see, 128. Minus 200, that's minus 72. Hmm. It's hard to see a pattern here, huh? And then let's see, 70, 72, minus 128, that's minus 56. Really challenging to see a pattern. Let's see if we can find, look, but here's what we do. We check the second difference, okay? So this is negative 88 minus negative 104, that's 16. Okay, look, this is plus 16. Negative 72 minus negative 88 plus 16. Now look, it's not always this annoying. And here's the secret. You can just check if it's linear or exponential, and then you can kind of use elimination, right? This is, look, this is negative 56 minus negative 72. That's also plus 16, okay? See how that's, this is the same second difference. Look, first difference and second difference. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple examples. Like if I'm asked, okay, what kind of function is these? How do I figure it out? Okay, well, what I do first is I kind of like look for linear first because linear is like kind of the easiest ones to catch. So I'm going to do 128 
minus 162. Okay, so that tells me this is going down 34, right? This is minus 34. Now, my question is, is this also minus 34? And I could do, I could do 98 minus 128. I could also do 128 minus 34 and see if I get 98. Ooh, this is minus 30. Uh-oh. Okay, let's keep going. So I have 72 minus 98. Oh, this is minus 26. So hopefully what you're seeing is, oh, there's a little bit of a pattern here. 72 minus 50 is, oh, I did it in the wrong order. I should've done 50 minus uh, 72, would've been negative 22, right? This is minus 34, minus 30, minus 26, minus 22. Hopefully you see there's a pattern here, look. This is 34, 30, that's four, right? This is four, this is four, okay? These, these numbers are changing by four. This is the first difference, this is the second difference, okay? So because the second difference is the same, we know that's quadratic. Quadratic is kind of the trickiest one to pick out, but I would say a good strategy with all of them is to start and check the first difference. So either you're going to notice, oh, it's linear, the first difference is the same, or you're going to notice, oh, it's not linear, I wonder if it's quadratic, and you can try the second difference. And if you don't notice that doesn't work, then it's probably exponential and you should check for multiplying. Let's try this one. Okay, so let's check for the difference first. So this is negative 9 minus negative 18. Oh, that's 9, so this is a difference of, this is plus 9. Negative 9 to 0, oh yeah, that's plus 9 too, right? Oh, 0 up to 9, we know that's plus 9. 9 plus what is 18? It's 9. This is linear, right? We have the same, we're adding the same number each time. Let's take a look at exponential. Now here, look, maybe you can use process of elimination, but here, this would be plus 8. This would be, let's see, 36 minus 12. Oh, plus 24? Oh, this would be plus a really big number. Hmm, I'm suspicious. I don't think this is going to be linear or quadratic. Let's take a look and see if we can multiply. 4 times what is 12? Mm, let's see. Now, if you don't know, now hopefully you know, but look, if you don't, 12 divided by 4. Let's say you get different numbers. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So that means 4 times 3 is 12. Let's see, does the multiplying by 3, does that pattern hold? Is 12 times 3 36? You can put it in calculator if you need. Oh, yeah, it is. Is 36 times 3 108? Sure is. Is 108 times 3, 324? Yep. So this is, oops, multiplying from row to row. This is exponential.